Uh, good morning, this is Jason Robinson from Illustration by Design, and uh, this is uh, another live stream. I'm going to be continuing inking this uh, this job I'm doing for a friend of mine for some ads that he wanted me to work on. And uh, I started, I think this past weekend, but <laughs> the live stream just went completely down. It just went bad. I think out of uh, maybe... Um, uh, hour and a half of drawing, only about 10 minutes actually ended up showing up on the stream. So, yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully this live stream will go a little better and uh, you'll actually be able to see what I'm doing and it won't be quite so shaky. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll be right back and then I'm gonna start drawing. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, get this live stream a thumbs up. And please, everyone, please share it out to uh, on Twitter and uh, Facebook and everything. Uh, let people know what I'm doing. It's a big help to the channel. Helps get the word out because um, I can only reach so many people. So, yeah, if you would, please share it out and uh, like, subscribe, share. Thank you. Alright, let me start drawing. Let me start drawing. Actually, let me get my glasses so I can see. Can you guys hear me? Because a lot of times if I don't get feedback, I need, I don't know whether or not things are going through or not. So if anything goes wrong, if you can't hear me or whatnot, please speak up. Let me know. Um, so, there's one person here. Is it coming through? Let me check. It's working. Can you guys hear me? And in a large part, I rely on you guys to tell me something's going on, something's going wrong, so if I don't hear anything from you, I have to assume that everything's okay. Because I get no real feedback from my cell phone. <laughs> so, if you're there, if you're watching, respond in some way. Just give it a thumbs up, hit OK, type in everything's fine, and uh, then I'll, I'll, I won't have to worry as much. I won't have to end the stream after an hour and a half only to find out that only five minutes actually got through. <laughs> All right, let me start inking. Okay, no response. I'll assume everything's fine then. Let's see.
three people are here. Cool. Hopefully, this is coming through okay. problem with thinking if you haven't done it in a while you have to worry about shaky hand because I'm always worried about messing up and so my hand shakes ah, frustrating takes a while to get back in the groove probably should have practiced inking beforehand if I were smart that's what I would have done, but as usual, I rush ahead without prepping. I should ink every day just for practice, but I don't. That's not good. So inking is something you have to, even if you draw a lot, inking's, inking and coloring is, is our disciplines all on, the, all on their own, so just drawing isn't enough in order to get good at it. You have to, you have to practice, and I don't practice enough, and it shows, but hopefully if I keep talking about it enough, about my lack of practice, it'll force me to do it. Come on. Ah, frustrating. You don't want to be, get frustrated with yourself when you draw practice all the time. <laughs> Less like me, frustrated every time you actually do start drawing. had a good weekend this is coming through but um yeah mine was pretty good
still going on. Damn it. Ah. I'll keep drawing. Hey, three people are here. Cool. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. My channel and share your friends and and. Yes, I make a lot of noise when I draw. I don't talk that much, but I do make random noises. <laughs>
I'm really hoping that this live stream is actually working. <laughs> So far, there's not been a peep from anyone. stuff's on camera, <laughs> even if no one watches it.
Better? Maybe. A little better? I can't tell. <laughs> Cannot tell. Alright. Alright, there's one person watching. That's probably me. So.
Here we go. Here we go. It's problem, 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 problem. Got to white some of this out. Alright. That's a little annoying.
I've noticed one thing through live streaming that even when you're an introvert like me, you still have something of an ego so that when people don't talk to you or respond, you get upset. I don't understand that. I don't understand why I would get upset by that when I'm an introvert and I prefer <laughs> working alone. I think it's something weird about human human nature. When you know you're being watched, but uh, there's no interaction, something inside, even though you're inclined not to really long for interaction in order to uh, enjoy what you're doing, knowing that there's someone out there watching with no interaction is more annoying than not having interaction to begin with. Or not having someone watch you to begin with. <laughs> I find that weird. <laughs> I, f I find my response to that weird. Because normally I, I'm fine working by myself, alone, not talking to anyone. But when I live stream and I see people watching, but they're not saying anything, or haven't said anything, for some reason that, that irks me on a certain level, and I'm not, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, I don't know, may I have to get a doctorate in psychology to figure out why. <laughs> ah. But it doesn't irk me as much as my own clumsiness, dropping all my stuff, that, that really, that really annoys me. Alright, let's see, not so much bad. Perspective. That, that's really annoying. Let's see that. Could, that should go there. No one responding is probably just because the live stream is not wor working to begin with, so I probably should not get annoyed by it. It's just my, uh, again, it's my human nature wearing his ugly head yet again. Actually, I can go back to the chat. I don't need to go back here. There we go. Well, there's still two people here. One of which is me. So there's, there's someone out there. But again, I don't know if the stream's working or not. So they may just be. Curiously wandering in and seeing a really dodgy internet stream where every oh my gosh, Art of Reed has spoken after after 40 minutes. Someone has finally spoken up in the chat. Holy mackerel! That is is that a new record? I don't know. I don't even know. Can Art can Art of Reed even hear me? Art of Reed, if you can hear me. Type Y. <laughs> I'm glad you like their ears. If you can hear me. If you can't hear me, then... <laughs> they won't hear my response anyway. Is this live stream working? Can you hear me? Question.
<laughs> okay, Harvey says, sadly, yes, I can hear you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Sadly, I can hear myself as well, so you're not alone. But, yeah, it's just like no one was saying anything. It was just I would see maybe two or three people pop up and then they would disappear. So I wasn't sure whether or not the live stream was spurging out and just really choppy if it wasn't working at all like last time or what so thank you very much Art of Reed for uh for saying something and I'm not I can finally uh stop stressing out over whether or not the this thing's actually working <laughs> all right Let's see, um, I guess, yeah, I guess you do that, like that, I guess. <sighs> so how have you been, Art of Reed? You have a good weekend? And something just happened where I screwed up my tablet. And I guess Art of Reed's gone. Because <laughs> someone just dropped out of the chat. And then there was one. Oh well, at least another live stream's working. So thanks, Art of Reed. Wherever you are, wherever you, wherever you disappeared into the internet, too. I'm glad you like their ears, by the way. If I didn't say it already. But I may I may have. Alright, let's see. Okay, this goes like this. Maybe like this. Uh, wait, what are you using to stream? Says Art of Free. Stream yards or OBS? Neither. I'm using Stream Lab. Stream Labs? Stream Lab. Mm. Um, it is a an app for your phone or mobile device. Which is what I use to 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 live stream uh, my my traditional drawings with. So if I were on my computer, I'd probably I'd probably tr try to use um, OBS just because I, I want to I want to learn how to how to use it. Um, Streamlab, I mean Streamyard is I hear fairly easy, um, but OBS is more versatile. So uh, I'm inclined to want to learn OBS over Streamyards, but Right now, I'm using Stream Labs. Um, again, it's, it's it's an app for your phone. I don't think that um, that Streamyard has a phone app, which is why I'm not using it. But Stream Stream Lab lets you uh, stream directly from your phone to YouTube and Twitch, or from your tablet whatever mobile device you're using. Hey, Matt Kimball is here. How you doing, Matt? Good seeing you. OBS says, he says it's pretty nice. I stream with it a lot. Come visit sometimes. You want a little OBS intro. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. Hopefully you have subscribed to my channel. Um, he said, okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely check out your channel because, um, you know, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> One fourth. Matt Kimball says, I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing better now, now that people are actually speaking in the chat. Before I thought I was going crazy because uh, 
I would see people poke their heads in and then disappear for about 40 minutes and no one would say anything and I didn't know if the live stream was working or not and I would ask people and they would get no response and that kept on going on for about 40 minutes and I was like what is going on <laughs> no one's even no one's even piping up to tell me to shut up or to shut up and draw or whatever which you know that, that would be great <laughs> but uh yeah no response just made me think that something was going terribly wrong with the with the live stream so this is much better um Artifree says, uh, I can't get Photoshop to work properly with OBS on my Mac. Um, what do you mean? I don't, I, um, you can't get Photoshop to work properly with OBS on your Mac. I have a Mac, and I haven't used OBS that much, but I, I, I did a little practice run a few weeks ago, and, um, and OBS worked with, with Photoshop. Um, oh, I don't, I'm not sure I understand what you mean by you can't get it to work properly. You can't get Photoshop to work properly. <laughs> Matt Kimball says, yeah, art streaming is tough on YouTube. Much larger market for like dog washing videos or opening action figures, <laughs> I guess. Um, I mean, I, I enjoy watching art videos, but um, you know, I see, I see a lot of art channels with like millions of subs on them, but um, I just, uh, it's not even a question of that. It was just the, the, the complete lack of response. That was, I mean, even, even me, I, I get at least one person to, to say something, you know, over 40 minutes. Um, if nothing else, they'll just say hi, then they'll disappear, which is fine. But when no one says anything, because my, my, um, my live streams have had a, had a tendency to, to be kind of shaky in terms of uh, the um, the bandwidth. You know, I, I, I worry that, like last time I live streamed on Saturday, I live streamed for an hour and a half, and, and, the, and, the, and the Wi-Fi was so bad that when the stream ended, only 10 minutes of it actually ended up getting recorded on YouTube. So that's all people saw. They saw 10 minutes intermer intermittently, you know, sort of, Burging out um, out of an hour and a half, and I, and I I didn't want that to happen again, so I, I sort of needed some sort of feedback from people to to know that it was, it was actually working at the time. Photoshop seems to be resource heavy and box it down to slow. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, box it down to slow, choppy standstill. Wow. Okay. How much RAM do you have, um, Art of Read? I think that if you have like a, um, I have, I think I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so um, that might help if you get more. Um, do you have DVR enabled in stream settings? Um, says Matt Kimball. I don't think so. I, I wouldn't know how to do. I wouldn't know how to do that. Um, I'm not sure how to do that actually. I'll look, I'll look into it. See if see if I can do that. With, with this uh, with Streamlabs, you might be able to. I'm just I'm just ignorant of it, so which is very possible. Uh, Matt Kimball says I'm on a PC here. Sorry, maybe you could describe. Okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Photoshop is is is, is a bear. What Photoshop do you have? Uh, Art of Read. My my Photoshop is is fairly old. I think it's 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 CS three. I think so. It's not the it's not the newest version. It's on your YouTube stream settings. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll check into it. Um, but but I think I don't know if that would have necessarily helped with uh with my last stream because I think that it didn't even get to YouTube for them to uh, show. See, Matt says, just join my stream sometime. We can chat about it, and I'll show you my setup. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to learn a lot more about this stuff. So. All right. Let's see.
fires. Fires. Uh. Uh, Matt Campbell says, great art, by the way. Super clean. Love it. Oh, good. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, super clean, yet, but super slow as well. That's the, <laughs> that's the downside. My goal is to one day be able to do work comparable to this, but much faster. Ah, no. Rip dog. No, this is a cat. Um, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a, these are cats at a cat funeral, and these are dogs in the background. So, the dogs are fine when the cats died. It's a rip cat. Have you listened to Zelda and Chill yet? I think you will like it. Zelda and Chill? No, I've never heard of it. Um, unless you mentioned it before and I just forgot. In which case, I have not listened to it yet. And I apologize. <laughs> says okay f cats never mind <laughs> yeah don't worry i'm a dog person so i have no problem with uh i have no problems with cat funerals <laughs> you know it's all these uh all these movies about dogs um like uh i can't i mean they, they've had a whole bunch of them over the last uh few years you know they're live action movies with actors and and like you know stories about dogs and like the dogs Dogs die at the end. Everyone in the audience is crying. Um, notice they never have any of those movies with start, with cats <laughs> dying at the end. <laughs> uh, no, something tells me that they don't think that'll have quite the, emo the emotional resonance that uh, that a dog dying tends to have on people. <laughs> but uh, my, my my wife is a is a big cat person. We don't have one, but. She's always been a cat person. I am, however, a dog person. Matt Kimball says, LOL, yeah, people would be what does that say? H C E E R ing? I don't know what that means. Hickering? 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 Might be a misspelling. I'm not sure. Oh, people will be cheering. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you. you okay, I understand. 
he will be cheering. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, yeah, well, I might be, but <laughs> um, yeah, cats don't um. In general, I don't think cats engender as much sympathy as dogs do. And I think it's because cats are very aloof animals, or tend to be. They tend to scratch and bite with less motivation than dogs do. So um, people are, are less inclined, unless, unless they're like a cat person or, you know, or a crazy cat lady, they're much less inclined to be empathetic. People are less inclined to be empathetic to the fates of cats than they are to dogs, I think. Um, I mean, that's why you don't have books like Old Yeller about cats or Sounder about cats. <laughs> that's my theory anyway, based on my own personal bias. Matt Kibble says, I saw a pretty amazing cat video a while ago. Some little kid was in his front yard playing when a stray dog came up and attacked him. Oh, yeah, and then the cat came and chased that dog off. Yeah, I saw that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That, that's, that was from a while back, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's some, there, I mean, you know, cats, cats are cool animals. I just don't. I, I am, I, to me, I treat cat, I see cats the same way I see snakes. I have a very, I have a healthy respect and cautious respect for the damage they can do. So I am not one to cozy up to cats because I know they're just as inclined to scratch your eyes out and slit your throat as they are to purr. And they may change their mind at any given second, even if they've known you for years. So I don't, I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust cats. <laughs> Matt Kimmel says, if I hadn't seen it, I would never have believed it. Still wonder if maybe it was CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Dogs, I general I generally trust most dogs, except for pit bulls. Um, but with cats, it's sort of the exact opposite. I generally don't trust most cats. Most cats, I don't trust because I, I don't know what's going on inside of their head. They, they they seem to have lizard brains to me. They don't they they seem. To generally just not care. <laughs> they don't care if they hurt their owners, if they hurt strangers, and if they do hurt them, they're just like, oh, eh, eh. you know, dogs are much more. I don't know. I think I, I think I just like the the predictability of dogs. They, they're they're much more expressive and they're much more um, emotive about. Their feelings. So if they're upset, if a dog's upset, they'll get they'll give you pretty fair warning that they're upset and that they kind of want to be left alone. Um, and they're generally good natured. Cats, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't trust them generally. Uh, did you see that YouTube video of a guy petting his goldfish? <laughs> Fish officially have more personality than cats. <laughs> Uh, I have a couple of cats. Had a couple of cats once. I wake up at night sometimes to see them staring at me like they're plotting my doom. Uh, yeah, that's because they were. Uh, they're trying to figure out who, <laughs> how they can get rid of your body. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I generally figure there's a reason why people don't have cats as big as a Great Dane. 
because they'd be dead. You know, most people, their cats, you know, are reach a certain height, and then, you know, they're no longer, no longer considered house cats, they're considered wild cats for a reason. And people don't have them as pets for a reason. <laughs> we could kill him now. No one would know. But who would feed us? See, that's always what that's always the problem. That's always the problem. Who would feed them if they killed you? That's probably the only thing that kept you breathing. So But if we kill the human, who would feed us? Yep, yep, yep. The old catch twenty two. The old cat twenty two. That's the only way you live to tell the tale. Let's see. time to actually measure things out I just eyeball it and then increase my chances of screwing up about 5,000 percent comic is this art for? Promo it up a little. Well, it's not for a comic. It's for an ad campaign for a friend of mine. Um, my friend runs a pet crematorium. And so he wants to do some advertising for it, but he wants it to be sort of black humor. You know, because uh, generally pet crematoriums deal with sad events in the family's lives, the death of their pet. So... He wants to sort of make it, make the whole thing a little lighter than it usually would be, um, but also recognizing that it is sort of a sort of dark subject matter, you know, sort of gallows humor. So this one is basically, I'll flip it over so you can see the whole thing, um, the sketch. Basically, it's these cats. This is one of four different illustrations for four different ads. Basically, these cats are having a funeral here. For one of their members and um, and while they're having a funeral these dogs are in the background digging up the yard this one has a bone in his mouth and uh, and the, you know the female cat is looking at the dogs sort of tearing up the yard and the male cat here says I told see I told you we should have gone to the pet crematorium and that's it and then underneath they'll have the, the contact info for the pet crematorium hours blah 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 so that's that's the gag for this one <laughs> and then there are three more so my friend has sort of a sort of a oh, it's kind of a kind of a dark sense of humor but he's, he's very funny so um and, and so he, he called me up and then we sort of worked out these three the, sorry these four different um sort of cartoons together and then i'm just drawing them up and then i'm gonna color it and then uh lay it out for him Ah, if I can get the lighting good so I can see. 
blasted. I'm really giving me problems. I don't know why. Um, Matt Campbell says, good job. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh. Maybe you could put a little tombstone behind the dog with a bone with a cat's name on a tombstone. Well, that, that's the thing. I don't want it to be obvious that maybe maybe it's just a chicken bone. Who knows? But the, I think that the idea is that it's not necessarily a cat bone or anyone, any, any like, pet's bone. It could just be, like, like, again, like I said, like a steak bone or something. The idea is that, is that this, this female cat is realizing that if they bury this, pers this cat in the backyard, there's a good chance th these dogs are going to dig it up. And it would have been better off if they had gone to the pet crematorium instead. And plus, I think if you, if you made it really specific, like, you know, these dogs were actually digging up cat bones, I think that would probably turn off probably a lot of people. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think my, I don't think my friend wants to go that, go that far to the point where he's turning off potential customers. I think he just wants, he wants to, you know, look at the cartoon, you know, maybe chuckle a little and then, and then think about giving, giving him a call. I think that's, that's his idea. Yeah. Hey, Lady Celtic Moon, how you doing? Good seeing you. You could not sleep. Well, you came to the right place because I am drawing late at night when I should be sleeping. I'm glad you stopped by. It's good seeing you. Hope you had a good weekend. Got what? Which one is this? This is uh, 32 ninths? What is? I can't read that. 40 egg burning? What? 932s, I think. 932s. I'm gonna guess it is. Kimmel says, my parents hired a dog psychiatrist once. Maybe your friend could get linked up with one. Set up per grief counseling combo deal. Uh, well, I mean, he, he's been doing this for years, so I'm sure he has tons of people that he, he does that stuff with in his area. Um, I, I, I personally don't really know, um, you know what his whole setup is with the pet crematorium, but I'm, I'm guessing they have brief counselors and stuff, since that's that's a business. I mean, he used, he used to be in the human funeral business before that, so he's he's well-versed in, uh, in that sort of stuff. I just draw cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Celtic Moose says, I should be asleep, but just can't do it. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I'm like that. My sleep schedule is just, is just weird. It's not, I think more, more, more often than not, it's just because I've already slept enough. And I just happen to wake up in the middle of the night. It's not because I can't sleep at night. It's just because I've slept too much. I, I tend to take a lot of naps.
Um, hmm. I don't know the best way to do this. I don't even know if this is this. Is this still good? Uh, dang it. Mm. Try this uh, white opaque ink. See if it works. I have this white opaque ink since college, and that's a long time. And there's this oil. See that brown oil? It sort of rises to the top. I want to pour it out, but I think it's important to the actual paint itself, so I haven't. I mean, the, the paint is still white, and I don't want to leach off the, the paint oils because it looks ugly. Um, so every time I open this little, this jar of, what is this? This is uh, called... Uh, Pro white. I have to look at that nasty brown stuff. My nose, you know, it's not it's not the paint going bad. It's just the uh, it's just the oils from the opaque white paint rising to the top. Uh, Matt says I would mix it up. Yeah, I know I want to mix it up, but then I get uh, I don't I don't like mess. <laughs> I know, I'm being stupid. I need to mix it up. It's like peanut butter. If you leave peanut butter sitting too long, all the, all the peanut butter oil rises to the top. It's that sort of thing. You gotta mix it up. You gotta mix it up. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. So once I start mixing it up, I'm gonna have to like wash off the, uh, the paintbrush again. And that's... That's a big. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's a big time consuming thing, so. I should do that later. But I was able to white out the part I needed to. So that's good. Uh, Matt Kibble says, ah, I was just kidding. It's funny. There probably is such a thing. There, pro I'm sure there is. Uh, that's why I, I didn't think you were kidding. I'm, 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 I mean, it's. People, people get more upset over their pets dying than they do their own family members sometimes. So, I it would not surprise me in the least um, if there were um, counselors um, and gr grief counselors for uh, for people for people whose pets have, have passed away. That sounds very, very plausible to me. Hey, four people are here. Awesome. Oh my gosh. It's like a it's like a it's like a party. Um if you haven't already, please uh please give this live stream a thumbs up and uh and also subscribe to my channel if you have not done so to this point. I would greatly appreciate it. And also hit the bell for notifications for when I do future live streams. It, it may or may not work. Hopefully it does work. It usually does work. Um, but, uh, you know, it'll let you know, YouTube will let you know when, uh, next time I, I pop online or post a video or something, so. Uh, Lady Cups Moon says, yes, yes. 
I guess she means yes, yes, mix it up. Or yes, yes, subscribe and thumb it up. <laughs> oh, and also share out the video if you would. Hit that share button. Let people know on the Twitters and the Facebook what I'm doing. The more people who show up, the more fun it is. All right. This pate says Lady Celtic Moon. Lady Celtic Moon is up late, ready to party. All the clubs are shutting down. The only place left to party is YouTube, and Lady Celtic Moon is here. Tear the roof off. So have you guys seen that new trailer for, uh, I guess it's, uh, what is it, the new Star Wars movie, the, the Rise of Skywalker, where I guess at the end they had uh, Rey opening up her Swiss Army lightsaber, and uh, apparently she, she's going to be evil. <laughs> I'm not sure where they're going with that, but. You know, I figure it's either a dream sequence, and it's not real, or she's some sort of clone, or whatever. That's my guess. Um, Matt Kimmel says, hey, side note, I'm trying to develop a bit of a, of a YouTube artist hangout community. I stream a lot and self-promote of any art project I, I always welcome. I stream a lot and self promo of any art project I always welcome. Okay. I think I understand what you're saying. Uh, Matt Kimmel says no, not yet. I guess you're talking about the, uh, you haven't seen the, uh, the new Star Wars trailer. Cool. Yeah. YouTube is a, YouTube is a, kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> trying to figure it out. Seems like it's, it involves a lot of work in order to get people to watch your stuff. Oh, it's always welcome. Okay. Okay. She streams a lot, and, and self promotion of any art project is always welcome. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Well, thank you. Thanks, Mac Kimball. Um, Lady Kelsey Moose says, Yes, people hate and like it. Not sure. I'd rather make my. Rather make my own world. Going to start Fallout 4 with force skills. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to understand that. <laughs> I don't play Fallout 4, so I'm not I'm not sure. Is are you able? Are you? I'm not. Sure. <laughs> Does Fallout 4 have anything to do with Star Wars? I'm not sure I understand. But. Uh, Matt Kimball says, Fallout 4 with 4 skills? Sounds like an awesome mod. Okay, some uh, modification. Okay, for that game. Okay. I've never played Fallout, Fallout 4, so. Cool. Let's see. does not have four skills by default, but it's very moddable. Okay, okay. Found it today. Fallout 4 is a game. There is a mod that gives you four skills. You use them like grenades. Oh, okay, that's neat. Very cool. Is, is that on the PC, or is it on, uh, 
like PlayStation or Xbox? What what um game format or console is that on? I'm kind of game ignorant. <laughs> I've never really never really been into games, mainly because my parents never really let us have any when we were growing up. So once I became an adult or and, you know was able to buy my own, I didn't have an interest really anymore. And because I didn't grow up with them, I I I, I don't really find them addictive. I find I play them every once in a while, but I get bored fast with games, video games. Um, mods on PC, says uh, Matt Kimball, I think. Okay, Lady Kelton Moon is on a PC. Okay, cool, cool. says, I do game de develop, so I'm kind of hip deep in all that. Oh, cool. That's neat. That's very cool. Let's see. Turn this off. Okay. There we go. Side note, I have a game I made. It's free to play. It plays in your browser. Let me know if it's okay to plug it. Go ahead, plug it. Plug it out. I think everyone will be very interested in seeing your game. Sweet thanks. It is at dis, distalfang.com. Distalfang.com. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just replace replace the dot with a with a with a dot with a period. Now we got it. Cool. Yeah. So everyone check out distalfang.com to see uh, Matt Kimball's video game work. So what do you do? Are you an animator? What do you do? You say you're in game development. I'm not sure exactly what part of game development you're in, but um, that's cool, that's very neat. is about to click on it. Better not be porn. Yeah, better not be porn, Matt Kimball. Lady Celtic Moon will not be happy. She will hunt you down across the internet and then track down your mom and then make sure that your mom knows exactly what you've been doing and what you've been trying to place links to if it's porn. So be very wary. Uh, Matt Kimball says the whole thing, man, art, modeling, animation, programming, pretty much 
everything but voiceovers, and I may get into that soon if I need to. Cool. That's cool. Or at least it better... <laughs> uh, at least it better be good porn, right? Hey, Matt Kimball says it's not porn, though. So... It is, however, hard as F. GL? What's GL mean? Good luck. Ah, good luck. Got it. I think. Uh, yeah. See, I get uh, Lady Cups. I think it means it's, it's a very hard video game. Um, hard as yeah, hard as that. Um, I think I need to dial down the difficulty a smidge. Just keep moving around a lot and remember F for super bombs. That'll help a, a little at first. Uh, Lake Hutton says, mouth, mouse or keyboard? Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. I'm not used to... I, I, I've never really played games on the PC. So, well, I, I, it's been years, oh my gosh. I mean, I used to, I mean, I mean, when I used to play games on, on a computer, it was, I, I think last time I did that was like the 90s. So, um... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to work on my skills. <laughs> I mean, I don't play video games much to begin with, but uh, using a uh, using key a keyboard to play games probably be like me trying to draw with a mouse. I'm just not used to it. Um, Matt Kimball says uh, both uh, use the mouse to aim, use the keyboard. Uh, WASD keys to move around. Um, C to change guns. F for super, super bombs. R to reload. Left click equals cannon. Right click equals missile. Wow. You have to be, be a... Sounds like you have to be a freaking octopus to <laughs> do this game. Or just be better versed in, in actual gaming than I am. Which isn't too hard. Pretty much any, any kid over the age of three is better versed at, at playing video games than me, so... Most people will probably be able to get it pretty fast. This is kind of old, old school feel of game, like Space Harrier, Afterburner. Okay, yeah, got it. Uh, honestly, it's not great for today's today standards, but got to start somewhere. Pretty neat. I like it. Cool. No, I, I think a lot of people are, you know, are interested in, in old school video games, and people like me who aren't used to uh, playing games on a computer, games like that are probably ideal because it is less. <laughs> I mean, I. I mean, I understand the, you know, the sort of setup you just described, so it sounds like what I used to do, what I used to play when I wasn't, you know, you know, younger. <laughs> yeah, I know, um, uh, Lady Kaltamu says, uh, yeah, too hard for me to use a keyboard. Um, Matt says, you see what Fortnite's like for control, this is, this is nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I haven't even tried to play Fortnite. I watch, um, I watch, what's his name, Typical Gamer on, uh, on YouTube and watch him play Fortnite. I guess, I guess on a computer. And I'm just like, I, I just don't have the time to figure that stuff out. It's just too much, too much, ugh, oh, too much. Yeah, think about adding a gentle mode to it, <laughs> so people don't get um, scared off too quickly. You want you want you want to suck them in. You want to draw them in, and then once they, once they're enjoying the game, then like slam them with like greater difficulty. Maybe make the first couple of levels like really easy, so even I could do it, <laughs> and then and then make them cry like by like the third level. 
<laughs> Lady Celtic Moon says, I hate Fortnite. Oh, man. Why, Lady Celtic Moon? Why, why do you hate Fortnite? I don't like... Oh, excuse me. I don't like playing it, but um, I, I enjoy watching other people play it. A training mode. Lady Cutting Moon wants a training mode for, for the game. Yeah, that'd be good too. Um, I find a lot of games, I, I, I need some sort of training mode in order to get me used to the controls and used to moving around and stuff. And then once I feel comfortable doing that, then I can move on to, um, to actually playing the real game. So. Uh, Matt Kimmel says, yeah, this is a training level, but it could probably be better. Well, you know, let, just keep working on it. Uh, and again, it's uh, the website is uh, distalfang.com. So, yeah, so you guys check it out. Hopefully you guys will like it. And make sure to give uh, Matt, Matt Kimball some feedback if you play it. Um, because that sort of stuff will probably help him make the game better. And, uh, you know, help with the UI. Help with, uh, you know, just the user friend friendability of it. Is that a word, user friendability? Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, everyone should check it out. And then get back to Matt Kimball. Let him know, um, you know, your thoughts on it. How much you love it, you know things that you know he might he might try to to improve it. So feedback is always good. Part of me wants to be precise with this. Another part of me is just saying, just draw. It's like, God, I'm constantly kicking myself trying to figure out. It's a cartoon. It's like it's not. You're not doing a. You're not doing a house blueprint. Just draw. So I, is it, I, I enjoy watching. Uh, I don't know if you guys know him, Doug Tenabel. Um He's he's. A, He's an artist and writer. He he created Earthworm Jim, but he does um, he does drawing and inking live streams pretty much every day on his channel, um, where he's inking the pages for his comic book, and I, I love watching him ink because he just he just dives in there and he starts just like putting ink on the page. He doesn't worry about rulers or anything. He just like just starts going to town on it and I'm just like how do you do that without freaking out over what you're doing I stress over if not every line most lines that I'm doing you know worried about that I'm not I'm do, putting down the wrong lines or I'm not I'm always second guessing myself and uh, he, he's, he's just able to just do it Um, Matt Kimmel says, um, do you have any lighter weight pens for the background stuff? Yeah, I do. The problem is, is that they're, they're, they're so lightweight that, I mean, okay, let me show you. I don't know if you can see. Actually, let me just bring it closer. <sighs> like these lines, these, these little grass lines here, these are are the lightweight pen. These are uh, 0 .05. Um, these are the brush pen, the lines around the, the actual cats. Um, the lines on the coffin are a point one. So, so like these are the lightest lines here. I'm worried if I use these lighter lines too much, you won't be able to see. They'll be too light. So I'm, I'm generally going to use the, the point one lines for the background so they show up pretty well and then the interior lines for some of the details then i'll go in with a with a 0 0.05 so um
more off rulers and stencils one day. I haven't looked back since. Yeah, I don't have... Ah, I just haven't... Ah, I don't have the guts to do it yet. I don't have the control. It, it would it would look sloppy to my eyes. And and and, and again, it's, it's so weird because when other people do it, I don't have a problem with it. I think it looks really cool. And I would love to be able to, to, to emulate that, to mimic that. But when I do it, I just see sloppiness. So I can't give myself the same grace that I give other people when they do it. And because I, I don't know why, I don't know why I need to, I think it's just, I just need to practice. So I feel comfortable doing it more. And, um, and that way I won't be so, um, um, uptight about it. Uh, Matt Kimmel says, a little grit to the line kind of adds some flavor. Yeah, it does. And I, and I like it. Um, that, I mean, that's why I, I, I use a brush when, when I'm, I'm doing figures. Um, but when I'm doing like objects, like, uh, like this coffin, I tend to use, um, I tend not to use a brush because I want it, I want it to look, I don't want it to look organic. I want it to look like it's an actual solid object. That makes sense. The grit has life, and I and want things that don't have life. I don't want that. I don't necessarily want that 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 grit. Um. Lady Captain Moose is posted on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, cool, awesome, very cool. <laughs> Lady Captain Moose says, uh, "Do not expect much, dear." <laughs> no, she's you're funny. Um, no ruler, definitely. Reduces the super clean look, though. I like how you're doing it. Very nice, especially for ad work. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep playing with it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, see how it works out. See how it works out. And Matt, Matt Kimball says, maybe you can let some of the background shapes be defined by negative space, then you won't have to outline as much of it. Yeah, I mean, like some of the some of the things like um, like the houses and the tree, I'm just going to outline. I'm not going to worry too much about it because they don't really, you know, they're just there to let people know that, that they're there. All right, all right. Let's see. Something's, something, something, something's happening. Something's happening. Uh, I ne don't necessarily want to happen. Some of the lines are getting a little too, a little too dark. It's hard to.
đó Thank you. 
Suggestion, mention your friend's pet business in the video description. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. He told me that he didn't mind me drawing it on, on screen, but I don't know if he wants me to openly advertise it yet. If that makes sense. That's why I haven't done it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, maybe I'll ask him if he if he minds me actually telling people who he is and and what specific his specific business. But I think right now I'm just gonna. He said he didn't mind me drawing it on you know on YouTube, but I. I'm not sure if he wants me to uh, be putting out a uh, a banner for his uh, for his business right now, <laughs> but it is a good idea. If he says yes, then I'll do it. Also worry about saying something that people won't like, and that coming back to maybe blow back on him. So I'm all, that's another reason why I'm kind of I'm a little hesitant about openly um, sort of being specific about which business it is, which business it is. Hey, that animated one is here. How you doing? Good seeing you. Happy 500th uh, subscriber. Although you, you passed that a, a little while back. Um, what music are you playing there? Matt Kimball asks. Um, well, I this is a uh, electro swing. It is basically um, sort of old-fashioned, like you know, 30s, 40s, even 20s music set to an electric beat, a modern beat. So um, yeah, so it's pretty. I find it pretty cool music, fun music to listen to. That's why, that's why I'm, I'm playing it. It's a music that I, that doesn't, it doesn't bore me. A lot of music when I listen to it, it can get boring for me after a while. This has a lively enough tone and beat to it that uh, it keeps my brain active without being too distracted by it. Uh, Matt Kimball says, uh, I thought I recognized it. I have this. Oh, cool. Very good. Oh, that animated one. I hope you're doing well. Have you been, uh, you have any cool new, uh, videos up? I used a couple of tracks as test audio on a game demo I did, I made years ago. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah, for, fortunately, a, a, there's a lot of, uh, copyright free, um, music on YouTube, so I just grab that and I just use that as um, as background music for when I'm drawing because I don't talk that much um, when I'm drawing. I, fi I find it, my brain <laughs> can't handle the multitasking, so either I can, I can either speak or I, c or I can draw. I can't really do both. Um, Especially when it's on subjects that I I generally have to think about, so the music serves as good sort of background music while I'm drawing, so the streams don't become completely boring for people watching. At the very least, you know they can they can listen to the music while I draw, even if I'm not act actively saying anything. 
That animated one says, I'm slowly making my new video. Yeah, it takes time. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, well, Matt, Matt Kimball knows. He animates as well, so animation takes a long time, so. I understand. I did like the uh, little interview video you did for your for your 500th uh, subscriber. I know you said that took you about two weeks to do, but uh, it was funny. It was cool. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, Matt Kimball says, "Yeah, I want to keep." I keep wanting to do the same with my streams, add music, but it seems like anything I use gets copyright claims. Well, it's just, I mean, there's tons of music on YouTube that, that is copyright free. You just need to find the right, the right sources. Um, one, one source I found that, that is copyright free is a guy named uh, Techno Axe. So this is some some of his music is in here that I'm playing right now, but he has music f of all types of genre genres. Sorry, genres genres. Um, he has electro swing. He has heavy metal. He has punk rock. He has rock. He has action music for for movies and video games. He has specifically video game futuristic mu music, all types. So, um, yeah. So it's uh. You know, it's a it's a lot of various stuff that you can you can check it out. Oh, great! That anime one has yet another sub on his on his goal to to crush me in subs. That's okay. He deserves it. Um, all cool. Fifty three says, "I this is dope." Oh, cool. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad glad you like it. If you're talking about the my art, <laughs> if you're not, that's fine too. But uh, yeah, thanks thanks a lot. All cool fifty three or Al cool fifty three. Glad to see you. If you haven't already, please sub to my channel and uh, please give the uh, good live stream a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, let me type it into the chat, um, Matt. The um, the guy I'm talking about in terms of techno. There we go, techno axe. Go to that guy's um, YouTube channel. Um, and uh, out cool fifty three says, did you draw this dude? Yeah, I'm, draw I'm drawing it right now. So, um, well, I'm making it right now. I'm drawing and inking. So, um, yeah. So, all the stuff here and on my channel, you know, I draw stuff like this, stuff like this. I take commissions. <laughs> so, sub to my channel and share, share, share this live stream out to, to the internet so other people know that I draw as well. I appreciate it. Um... Al Cool Fifty Three says it looks professional as f. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Um, I'm sure my client will be happy to hear that as well. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, Matt Kimball says awesome. Thanks. Al Cool says talent. Well, thank you. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for future videos because I, I I do these live streams eh, about three, sometimes four times a week. It just varies depending on what I'm doing. So. Uh, Alco says you're talented. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, Matt Kimball says, "Yo, that Kurt is dope." Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's actually my my favorite superhero. So, um, yeah, I've always I don't know why I've always liked him. Nightcrawler. I don't draw him that much, but I'm always happy for the opportunity to make him look cool. Again, I'm eyeballing. If 
<laughs> Lady Kelty Moose says it's too late at night. <laughs> and that anime one says, I realize 90% of my audience are from the USA, so I have to upload later so more people see it and get the notifications. Huh. Yeah. No, I, no, I got you. I understand. Um, I'm guessing that most of my... Most of my subs are from the USA as well. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that most people's subs are from the USA. Um, I think just because of numbers, there are just so many people who live in the USA, it did, and um, that you know, and pretty much everyone has access to the internet and YouTube. That it makes it easier to uh, for Americans to be be on YouTube. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Al Cool fifty three says, "Mad, I'll shout you out when I next upload. Like three weeks should do something. All my subs probably forgot about me. <laughs> yeah, I I have to um I, I have to sort of stream at, at least a couple times a week because otherwise I I lose subs. I actively lose subs if I don't um stream at least two times a week. Um, people." forget about me really fast or just unsub for me. So so the, me streaming is more me just trying to maintain a minimal amount of subs uh, more than it is to um, to really gain more subs because I I'm, I'm sort of like a leaking boat. I have like a I have a slow leak in my sub counts if I don't constantly you know try to plug it by posting new videos. Um, Lobo is my favorite, says Matt Kimball. I'm working on a 3D CGI short Lobo feature. Oh, neat, 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 neat. Awesome. Yeah, that anime one. Check out Matt Kimball's stuff. I mean, I think you, I think you would, you might like it. Um, he does, a, like, video game animation and stuff. So, um, yeah, that, that might be up your alley. Ah, uh -huh. okay, you're Australian. Oh man, so it's it must be what six thirty there now in Australia, six thirty p.m. Wednesday. Alcools fifty three says I can't draw all these really cartoony stuff. I can only draw real realistic stuff. This is a cool style of art. Um, oh, okay, great. Well, thank you very much for the Australian sub, Alcool. I appreciate it. I can do, I do realism too, um, hold on, but it's just people, it's, I don't, I don't do, um, well, I, I, I guess I could, but I don't. I did, like, stuff like this. So, I mean, I try, you know, like in my live streams, I'll do, I'll do like drawings of famous people like these, like Kate Winslet or uh, you know, Bill Bixby from The Incredible Hulk. Um, but in terms of, uh, I don't do landscapes. <laughs> landscapes I find very boring um, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I did, whoops, knocking things over. Look at that. I did this drawing of uh, Tom Holland um, last week, I think. So it's just, you know, I, I like drawing people. I like drawing, like, living characters, I guess. Things with life in them, whether they're cartoons or real people. Let's see, Al Cool says, uh, 519, damn it. No, oh wow, man, you have a lot more than me. Um, I have, uh, I don't know how many, I think I have like 400, 300 and, 360 
361, I think, people, which is good. Hopefully, I'll get up to 500, and then from there, get up to 1,000, and then, uh, you know, in 10 years, maybe I'll get to 2,000. <laughs> uh, Matt Kimball says, um, let's see, the anime one says, what happened to the clickbait thumbnails? What clickbait thumbnails? Um... Matt says, hey man, I would like to eventually have other artists on my stream, usually to promo whatever, but just, also just to have our chat, maybe you'd like to come on sometime. Yeah, sure, I'd love to. Just, um, may help with Leaky Bow's situation. Yeah, no, definitely would. Um, just go to my, um, um, if you go to the About section of, of my YouTube channel, you'll find my, um, my Twitter, um, handle there. Just, um, just, fo just contact me via Twitter. Um, yeah, you follow me, I'll follow you back, and then you can send me messages whenever you're, you're doing some sort of live stream or something, you know, just, or just ask me on, you know, um, Matt Kimmel says, honestly, stylized is harder in a lot of ways, um, it, it is, and it isn't, it just depends, I mean, I mean, I, I find that most stylized artists are really, really good, um, sort of traditional artists, and they know what to include and what to take out to, to, to create their style, their stylized look, so, yeah, I, I, I think that, uh, that in order, in order to be a really good style, stylized artist, you, you have to start with being a good traditional artist, um, I get, I, I guess you, you can, you can, you can be stylized without being a good traditional artist, but I generally found that not to be the case. I've, I've generally found that, that most people who are very stylized, who are good at it, are also very good traditional artists. And they started off drawing traditionally, and then, they, and then over the, over time, they've learned how to modify that traditional style to make it look more stylized. And so that they, you know. They've just made it work for them. Ah, dang, that what I do. Okay. I didn't mess up too much. <laughs> ah. Uh, you have to be super selective about every line. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Al Cool says, uh, "Yeah, that's cool, bro. I only do landscapes. Thanks for calling me boring." No, it's I. I, fi I find landscapes boring, but at the same time, if you can do them, I I I, I'm, I have a I kind of have a, a lot of admiration for people who can who can do that sort of stuff because I because I do get bored with it. It's like. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Bob Ross. Um, Bob Ross is a very famous artist here in America. Um, he does, he, he used to do televised uh, paintings, and it was all landscapes. Um, he used to do televised, um, televised landscape painting on a public television um, back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And he I think he died in the mid-90s. But... Um, I love watching his shows. You can you can also you can also find him on YouTube. But I love watching his shows, his half hour shows, because he makes landscaping look not just relatively easy, but f most importantly, he makes it look fun. And that's something that people like me who find landscaping landscapes to be boring, I think it, it, I think it's good for for a lot of people to. Um, Sort of open their eyes to, uh, you know, what can be done with um, a supposedly boring subject like landscapes. So, <laughs> Al Cool says uh, all G -la all landscapes are boring. Uh, Bob Ross is my old god. <laughs> Matt Kimball, you don't know who Bob Ross is? Are you being, are you joking? I can't. I don't, I don't know if you're joking or not. Bob Bob Ross is, is, is 
Okay, Bob Ross. If you look, look him up on YouTube if you don't know who he is. He ha- he has a huge afro. Um, he's white, um, but he has a huge afro, mustache, beard, and he's extremely mellow. So he's 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 just a really really he's sort of like the Mister Rogers of painting, if you can imagine that. Imagine Mister Rogers with with a with a big nineteen seventies afro, and a and a mustache, beard, and. Um, and painting. That's that's Bob Ross, basically. Did you know Bob Ross actually filmed almost all the episodes of a show in a day or two? What do you mean all the episodes? You mean all the episodes in a season in a day or two? Is that what you mean? Actually, it wouldn't surprise me because, well, I don't know. Because I mean, his 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 paintings. I mean, he did them fairly fast. I mean, he did them within a half an hour. So, I guess he could do in two days. He could do thirteen paintings. Oh yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Am I messing up? I'm messing up. Ah. Not the first time, won't be the last time. Just have to. Happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say, happy accidents. Ah, Lady Celtic Moon puts the link to Bob Ross's YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Matt. I, f- I forgot all about the uh, the sarcasm and sarcasm uh, sign. My HTML is, is uh, very, very shaky. It brings several outfits to just change them between shows. Had a scroll in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's a cool guy. Matt says, pretty sure it was per season, but not all seasons at once. But even Matt, nah, not sure that he was so crazy fast. I know he definitely did multiple shows per day. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. The guy, that guy was very talented. So. I mean, we used to sort of kind of laugh at him when we were kids watching his show just because oops oh the hold on one second because I think the stream is going crazy Just hold on. Having problems with the stream? Please hold on. Ah, most game shows shoot most of a season, most of a session in a week. Most of a season in a week, says Lady Celtic Moon. Um... Let's see, good old Bob. A little murky on those details, but I know he's in the mix somehow. Oh, wow, okay. A good friend of yours is, is involved with Bob Ross Estate. Got it, got it. Yeah, hopefully this live stream won't, uh, it's still working. So, I just know I'm, I'm, that on my end, something happened. So, I was just, I'm just worried that it's going to affect the rest of uh, the stream. So, my apologies in advance if the stream goes down for a second. Just be patient. Ah, come on. Come on, Jesus. Stream's all good, says Matt Kimball. Okay, cool. Glad to hear it. Thank you very much.
Oh boy. All right. Got it. Try not to stress over my mistakes, but. If you could team up any character with any any Marvel character with any DC character, who would you choose? For me, it would be Lobo and Venom. That'd be cool. That'd be neat. Um, I don't know who would I team who would I team up Marvel with a DC character. Um, I don't know. Um. I don't think who would be interesting. <sighs> trying to think of someone. I, I would find. I find characters that are different, that have different personalities teamed up to be interesting. So I would probably choose someone who was no nonsense with someone who is a little. Not necessarily goofy, but a little less um, a little more carefree so or some are people who had different different ways of handling situations like like uh, I, I guess for me Lobo and, and Venom are very similar in terms of like they're both kind of I don't want to say savage, but they're both, I mean, they're both kind of, they both enjoy mayhem. So, I, I mean, I don't, them teaming up would just be twice as much mayhem. <laughs> um, but, let's see, who would I, who would I team up? You know, you know who I would, you know who would be interesting to team up, I guess to my mind? Would be um, the question and Daredevil. I think that would be an interesting team up. Um, uh, it, if, you, if you don't know who the question, the, the question is the question is is a um, Lobo and Doctor Strange. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Uh, Matt Kimmel says, uh, yeah, that's why I thought they would link up well. Also, they both have a space element. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I would find... I find it interesting if someone, like, if it was, like, Lobo and Judge Dredd. I would find that very interesting because Judge Dredd is very much someone who is, you know, I am the law, you know, the law must be followed, very sort of, he's also very violent, you know, but he's, he, he's, he's sort of on the side of the law in the sense that, you know, it has to be, you know, he's there to enforce it and Lobo is the ultimate kind of law, you know, scoff law. I guess you can say he doesn't care about the law, other than you know getting his bounty. Um, so I think I think that that'd be an interesting mix. Hey, Lobo and Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think who would be interesting. Uh you know, would be interesting. 
Mr. Fantastic and Plastic Man. Uh, it's, it's not even so much they have the same powers, it's, but it's, it's, it's that fact that they are completely, they're, they're complete opposites in, in terms of, of their, 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 just the way they approach life. I mean, Mr. Fantastic is like the, he's like a complete sort of, um, you know, kind of a tight ass. Um, <laughs> um, whereas Plastic Man is just a, you know, kind of a complete goofball. So, as long as we can agree Lobo is the coolest DC character ever, that's all that matters. That's that's all that matters. <laughs> Although I did hate what they did to Lobo in the New Fifty Two. They they kind they kind of effeminized him. They changed him into some sort of, some sort of uh, like a uh, effeminate, um, almost like a pretty boy. And uh, I was like, what? That's not Lobo. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you pretty much ruined everything cool that was <laughs> about Logo, Lobo that, that there was. Pretty much just removed all that and gave us like an Amber, Amber, I was say Abercrombie and Fitch model instead. Looked like, looked like some guy out of, a, out of a boy band when they were done with them. I do not really know Lobo, says Lady Celtic Moon. Like he's sort of like, um, he's basically a, um, <laughs> if you think of like your standard wrestler in pro wrestling, that's, that's, just take that, that character, the type of character, and make him a bounty hunter in space, and that's Lobo. So he's basically, he's basically like a, a big, brawny guy who likes beating people up, killing people for money. That's Lobo. Uh, Lady Captain Moose says, okay, I'm going to try to get some sleep now, guys. Later. Hey, Lady Captain Moose, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, hope you get some sleep. Hope you have a great night. And we will see you later. Uh, Mike Kimmel says, yeah, they really did screw that um, up regarding Lobo, New 52. My spin on it is definitely old school. Yeah, old school is the best school when it comes to most of these characters. They try to quote unquote improve them and uh, what they really try to do is just make them more palatable to them, ignoring that the reason why people like them in the first place is because they're not like the way you want them to be. So. My spin on Lobo, he's an escaped convict that kills the bounty hunter he hired to come capture him. Takes his ship and takes over space, starts doing bounty jobs because the base he took over was too clean and fancy and did not have enough skulls decorating the place. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, well, it sounds like something Lobo, Lobo would do, so it makes sense. It sounds very plausible. Actually, that should be a good storyline for the comic. So. Time is it? It is uh five o'clock. I 
think I might be ending this live stream very shortly because I do need to get some rest. And I've been live streaming for about two and a half hours. So that's pretty it's a pretty good time for for now for live stream. Um but I'm gonna try a live stream I guess <laughs> I guess I can say today since it's now Wednesday, um, later on today, um, and I'll probably be doing a, a portrait of, of a celebrity, celebrity portrait, so I haven't, haven't decided who I'm going to do yet, just need to think about it, I was thinking about uh, Zendaya from the Spider-Man movies, not sure yet though, not sure. Gotta keep thinking. So, but yeah, so I'll probably come back later on and draw some more. Um, Matt Kimball says, Cool, man. Nice to tune in and watch you work. Enjoy the convo. You're a great host. <laughs> well, thanks. I, I appreciate it. I, 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 I don't know if your expectations are, are, are low when I was able to fulfill them. Um, I, don't, I don't really see myself as a great host, but I appreciate very much you coming in here and helping. To not only keep me awake, but just helping keeping the conversation going, Matt. And for showing us your stuff. So, again, everyone, if you haven't already, please uh, check out Matt's work on... Uh, what is, what's the website again, Matt? I forget. Um, if you can just type it in. Let people know what your website is so they can, so they can look at your video game stuff. Um, yeah, check his stuff out. And uh, everyone who's uh, showing up and is still here, I really appreciate you stopping by and watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit the bell for notifications for future videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, please give this live stream a thumbs up. And uh, let me know that you enjoy the content. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Matt Kimball says, hope you dis distallfang.com. Okay, yeah, so check that out, everyone. Uh, Matt Kimball says, uh, Hope you come visit mine sometime. Would love to hear your thoughts on what I'm working on. I'm sure we'll benefit from other perspectives. Okay, cool. No, I, I, I definitely will. If you, you again, just to contact me uh, via Twitter and uh, let me know, uh, you know, when you're on, and I'll try to come on. Hey, you have a good night too, Matt. Everyone else, you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, be good. Stay out of trouble. Bye.